Hello there, it's me, Ingrid, again. Today I want to talk about the subject of perfection. For many of us, we understand what perfection indicates, but a lot of us don't understand how to get there or what it takes to become a perfect being. Now, I said all of that, and after saying all of that, let me say this disclaimer. There is no such thing as a perfect being in an imperfect world. We live in a world where perfection is flawed. And that's okay because there's no true perfection in this realm without flaws. Does that make sense? In other words, your flaws are what are helping you to become that perfect spiritual being. But instead, through religion, through spirituality, through misconceptions, through other people's understanding of what perfection is, we as individuals and as a generation struggle with the word perfection because we think that we have to strive for perfection. Let me say this. I think that the indication of growth or the development of the human being is by far more important than the desire to strive for perfection. It is impossible. How can you be a perfect creature in an imperfect world? Wrap your mind around that for a second. Here you are saying you're a perfectionist, I used to say I was a perfectionist all the time. Remember, I'm not gonna be a hypocrite here. I used to say I was a perfectionist all the time. But what does that mean? What does the drive for perfectionism or what does the drive to become perfect mean? It means that you are doing everything in your power to defy the law of nature that exists in this realm. The law of nature that exists in this realm is one of imperfection. Human beings by default are imperfect creatures. We're not spiritual beings that exist in the spiritual realm. This earthly realm is one that characterizes imperfection. So the strive for perfection in this realm is one that will make you go crazy. It will make you go crazy or it will make you realize at the end of striving that you will never achieve it. What you should be trying to achieve instead of becoming a perfectionist or a perfect being is just learning how to grow, learning how to accept change, learning how to become comfortable in your skin, learning how to go through the vicissitudes of life and turn it into that being that is willing to grow, that understands that change is necessary, a being that understands that growth by definition requires change. For me, that is the replacement for perfection. If you have to grow on a daily basis, if you have to work towards spiritual development and spiritual evolution, I think that's much more effective than saying you're striving towards perfection. Because striving towards perfection is such a, it's like a long shot. It's something that is not accomplished or easily achievable. Therefore, understanding that your personal growth and your development is by far more important than the whole notion of becoming a perfect being. The other aspect of that is that for me, having got to this point in my life, I realized that perfection for me is, 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 is not what other people think it is. For me, accepting my flaws is indicative of my perfection, if there's such a thing. For me, I am the culmination of all my mistakes, all my experiences that were not always good, and I've accepted those experiences, the negative and the positive. I've also accept, accepted the good, the bad, and the ugly about myself. I am not, I'm not all that, you know? I am just a work in progress. I am continually and continuously working on myself and trying to become better, trying to become a better human being, a better mother, a better sister, a better daughter, a better friend. These are always things that we have to work on. And as long as we continue to live, these things will continue to manifest. And in these areas of our life, we will always have to strive to do better. Striving to do better is different than trying to achieve perfection. If you are a perfectionist, because we hear this term used loosely in our society, I'm a perfectionist. What does that mean? That you have to do the work better than the other people? Why don't you replace that word perfectionism or being a perfectionist with the fact that you want to be effective. You want to do the job to the point where you're satisfied with doing the job the way that would please you. And therefore, if it pleases you, it will please other people. Isn't that what you're saying? But this notion of being a perfectionist, this notion of being a perfect creature 
is by far one of the biggest lies in our society. They're not perfect people, not even if they're beautiful. You can be beautiful and still be flawed. And that's, the, that's true beauty, isn't it? True beauty is recognizing that it is tarnished, that it has some kind of flaw, but it does not detract from the true beauty of the object or the individual. I propose to you today that you change your outlook so you can give yourself a break. Being a perfectionist takes a lot of work. I know I used to be one. The house always had to be cleaned a certain way. You know, the cans in the cupboard, sleeping with the enemy, all facing this direction, all the towels lined up. Are you, were you like that? Are you like that? It is stressful. It can become stressful because guess what? Not only does it stress you to maintain that level of perfectionism, but it also stresses the people living with you or the people that know you because you have an unrealistic expectation for others to be just like you. I used to be like that. I used to want people to be like me. I used to want people to operate on the same premise or the same notion that I had for myself. And that is an unrealistic expectation. And it puts a lot of stress in relationships. So let's revisit. How can we deal with this notion of trying and striving to be perfect? How about we, instead of trying to, for perfection, how about striving for continuous growth that dictates and predicts not only your behavior, but those around you? If you're growing, if you're changing, and if you're becoming the best you, then automatically others around you are gonna to rise to the occasion by recognizing that you're different. A great example of that is my mom when she was alive. My mom, I remember my whole life growing up, she would send her three daughters to church. That's what she did religiously. Every Sunday we had to go to church, whether we liked it or not. Even if we went up the night before, the Saturday night, we had to get up and go to church. My mom never once attended church with us. And as an adult, she, we lived together and I, became, I was big, you know, I was part of the church. I, I, I started teaching Sunday school. I started attending church regularly and she started coming to church and I watched her get baptized. Her baptism was one of the happiest times of my life, not because it was about me, but because she used me as an example and followed me, followed my example to the point where she was able to get the help she needed and to get the deliverance she needed. It is a beautiful thing to set the precedent for other people to follow you. You don't want people to follow you if you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> but hopefully because they recognize and see the difference in your life based on the fact that you're growing, you're working towards change, you're working towards a change that will bring about meaningful results in your life. It is only natural that those results are gonna be far reaching and they will affect those around you. So today, instead of trying to be a perfectionist, in try, instead of trying to be, you know, to stress yourself out while you're trying to become a perfectionist, how about you relax a little bit? How about you realize that you take one day at a time, one step at a time, and you do the best you can, but it doesn't have to be for anybody else. It needs to be for you. My name is Ingrid Felton. As always, thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. I hope you got some nugget here some gold nugget that you can share with others. Please subscribe to the videos, like the videos, share the videos, tell others about what I'm doing here, and visit my website for more information, thejourneyoftruth.com. I look forward again to seeing you. As always, have an awesome day. Bye.